So what we're gonna, what the hell? The police are here. What do they want? They wanna search the property? They can't, what, they just wanna come in and search because they just think there's something going on here? I'm talking about the Fourth Amendment. Oh, they just think that something's wrong here. They don't have the right to do that, but do they? We'll talk about the Fourth Amendment to the Constitution and see what the police have rights to coming into your home or not. Coming up next. It's Timothy also with 9533 Training Consulting, and we're going to go over in our series is the Fourth Amendment. That amendment that not very many people know about, they kind of know about it, but they don't really know about it, and they don't really know what their rules and their rights are associated with it. So let's go over it and give you a broad sense of the understanding. Now, what was happening when the Fourth Amendment was written? The British government still ruled over the American colonies. They wanted to collect as much money as possible because they were lazy. That really basically pissed them off. So to get around the British customs taxes, colonists began smuggling goods to avoid British tax collectors. Of course, this also in turn pissed off the British government. So Parliament and the King began using what's called a writ of assistance. These were very general search warrants that could be used to search any property. Custom agents could enter any home without warning and without providing a reason. Searches and seizures of private property based on general writs became common in the colonial era. The Fourth Amendment was designed to guard against this and protect the freedoms and rights of individuals. The Fourth Amendment came about because of the actions of British tax collectors before the Revolutionary War. They would use general writs to enter and search a house they wanted to without needing evidence or wrongdoing. The Founding Fathers wanted to protect people from this sort of invasion of privacy from the government. So, what exactly does the Fourth Amendment say? It says, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, their houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the person or things to be seized. So let's think about that for a minute. Specific. So if I was looking for, I don't know, a beach ball, fully inflated beach ball, and I was serving a search warrant, could I look in someone's pocket for a beach ball? No, it doesn't fit in my pocket. Could I search in someone's drawer in the kitchen? No, it doesn't fit there. Could I search in a closet? It could possibly fit, but I can only search as far as the cursory to look for it. Can I start going through the clothes in the closet? No, because it is not exactly what's being looked for. Let's say I was looking for a little USB drive. Could I look in someone's pocket? Yes. Could I look in someone's drawer? Yes. So that is what they had said, is that because of what the British were doing before and being general and just saying, I'm looking for, I don't know, I'm just gonna come take a look around, wasn't good enough. So the Founding Fathers wanted to make sure they put the Fourth Amendment in there to protect people from that. So what does it mean? The Fourth Amendment prevents the use of general warrants. It says that warrants must mention the exact place to be searched, as well as any possessions or people to be seized or arrested. In addition, warrants can only be issued if there is probable cause. Probable cause is reasonable belief that the person has committed a crime or will commit a crime. This belief must be based on facts, not just suspicion. Oh, you know, that's a, that's a young man with a hoodie on walking down the street at night. He must be a criminal. Bullshit. That is not probable cause. That's a joke. So, so what exactly are searches and seizures? A search under the Fourth Amendment is when a public employee, 
like a police officer, looks at something that is considered private. It typically takes two things in order for someone to be considered private. One, the citizen thought it was private and it would not be able to be viewed by the public. For example, something inside a house would be private. Something in the driveway, eh, not so much, because it could be seen by everybody. Two, these expectations of privacy are realistic. It wouldn't be realistic to expect something on your driveway to be private. When someone is seized, they are not free to leave, like being arrested or placed in jail. When something is seized, it cannot be taken back, like a police officer taking your wallet or cell phone and not giving it back. Seizure can also refer to the arrest of a person. The Fourth Amendment provides guidelines for the government to follow when searching homes or property, taking an individual's belongings or arresting someone. They must have evidence-based reason to carry out the search and a warrant signed by a judge. Police officers cannot legally search your belongings, take your belongings, or arrest you without probable cause. So what exactly is probable cause? Probable cause means that there is enough evidence to show that a crime is likely to be committed. The police must have the evidence before any arrest or search. Any evidence found during the search does not count as probable cause. Let's make sure we understand that. If they decide to search you and then find something without reason or probable cause, they can't use that. They have to have a reason. If evidence is uncovered by violating the Fourth Amendment, it's usually, usually not admissible in court. This is also known as corpus delecti. It's a Latin term meaning fruit of the poisonous tree. This means that the police collect evidence unlawfully, it usually cannot be used against someone in court. What's a judge's warrant? In order to conduct a legal search and seizure, the police must have a written warrant signed by a judge. To get this warrant, they must present evidence to the judge that some criminal activity has taken place. This assures that the police cannot enter a person's home or arrest a person without evidence that has been reviewed by a judge. Now, there has been some conflict and controversy over the last several years. The Fourth Amendment has been frequently debated. Some people feel that government agencies and police officers have violated this amendment. For example, the government collected phone and internet records to guard against terrorism, known as the FBI's carnivore program. Police officers in some states had a stop and frisk policy. This means stopping someone and patting them down to see if they had any weapons. The Supreme Court has ruled that stop and frisk must be reasonable. The officer must have probable cause to believe that the person being searched is armed and dangerous. However, it seems that this policy is not always followed. Duh. Of course, the writers of the Constitution could not have predicted any of these events. They had no knowledge of the internet, for example. They also didn't have organized police forces like we do today. Other facts about the Fourth Amendment? There are many exceptions to the Fourth Amendment. For instance, police officers can always search or seize in an emergency without going to a judge. And everyone who flies at the airport can be searched. Another exception is if someone consents to the search. If an individual says the search is okay, then the officer does not need a warrant. Case in point, you get stopped for a traffic. Traffic, uh, traffic infraction. And the officer says, do you have any guns or drugs in the car? Do you mind if I search? Or, do you have any guns, bazookas, tanks, uh, 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 airplanes, something erroneous? Do you mind if I search? You say no. Do you have something to hide? Doesn't matter. The answer is still no. That is your right. You do not have to agree. The officer will have to produce probable cause to be able to search your vehicle. If you do give probable cause and they start to search your vehicle, at which point you can rescind probable cause. You can, I'm sorry, you can rescind your authorization. Once they start, you can say, I don't want you to search anymore. It's done. 
If evidence is uncovered by violating the Fourth Amendment, it is usually not admissible in court. This means if police collect evidence unlawfully, they can't use it against you. Welcome to the Fourth Amendment. Now, it is not very long, it's not very deep, but what it is, it's gonna give you some of that information to understand what your rights are as an American citizen. There are a lot of things happening out there, and a lot of things we know are happening out there because of body cameras that officers are wearing, as well as the invention of the cell phone, which mine's right over here. It allows us to videotape everything. Do I think that there are bad officers out there? Absolutely. freaking lutely Do I think they're all bad? Absolutely not. I think it's less than half a percent. But the ones that, you know, the, the rotten apple spoils a bunch is what happens. And those are the ones that everybody hears about. Unfortunately, it taints them all. They're not all bad. I have many friends that are officers and they're quite outstanding individuals. And some of them are watching this right now. So, hope you're liking this series. We did make a couple different changes and we are reading your comments. We did read the comment today uh, and we are gonna make adjustments to that. So don't you worry about it. But we're on the Fourth Amendment. We have a big one coming up, which will be the fifth. We'll have that out next week. But if you have any questions, please hit that like, subscribe, hit the bell. You don't want to miss out the next one coming up and put comments in there. I do respond to the comments. I like to hear what you guys are saying. But as always, on time, on target, never quit. Hoo-yah. <laughs>